Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and on this video we are doing a Costco back to school grocery shopping haul. Oh yeah, you should get that for me. Um, so yeah, we are fresh out of cheer practice right now. We stank She's out of cheer, she's out of cheer. We stank And we are hitting up Costco before it closes. So it is currently what, like almost 8 o'clock or 8 o'clock? 8.05. 8.05. 8.05. And we are trying to get as much as we can because Costco closes in like 30 minutes and these kids are very loud.
in Costco's a dangerous combination. Finally made it home from Costco and I'm about to go through some of the items we got. So as you guys saw, we got three of these things right here. We got three or four. I think we got three of these. Um, Ruben was concerned because they expire in October, but we got them for lunch. Even the kids use them like on the weekends and stuff like that. So we got four of these. We ended up getting two of these Go Go Squeeze Blasts. Reagan has really been bugging me about getting uh, the applesauce. So these are Raspberry Rush and Berry Madness. And there are 16 of them. So we got two boxes of them for her and Bugs to take for school for their lunches. Okay. And then next, like I mentioned, I saw the um, Phillips Fam Bam. Got these from Costco. These were actually $5.99 here in California. I know they're in Vegas, but ours had them for $5.99. So we ended up getting three boxes of them. Just because the kids are going back to school, uh, the girls have cheer right after school, so it's a quick something to eat right before they go to practice and in between dinner time. Then we ended up getting two boxes of Hot Pockets. I think these are always normally about $8.99, um, and we got two just so, again, the kids could have something to snack on, munch on real quick. Rosie's going to high school, and I believe they have a microwave, so she can use this. Then we got some bananas. We have not tried these chicken melts, but I keep hearing that they're really, really good. Um, so I want to see how the kids like these. Like I said, with cheer, we normally don't get home until about 8 o'clock, so this is something quick and easy for them to have for dinner um, if I'm not cooking, especially like on a Thursday or Friday. Then I got some pluots. So plum apricot. Rousey calls them plums. They're pluots, but we like them. They're kind of sour. And so next I got the Asian chicken wrap with the rotisserie chicken and dressing. So there's basically four halves. And what I'm going to do is, once we put all this other stuff up, I'm going to take some foil and individually wrap each one. And this is uh, lunch for me for the next four days. Um, or even if I just have like two or whatever like that for on the weekend. This weekend we're going part two shopping for their school supplies. Or school clothes, I should say. And this is something quick and easy that we can have on the road to eat. So next, you guys probably saw that we got muffins. Now school starts, what, Monday or Tuesday for you guys? Wednesday. Wednesday? Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to start Monday or Tuesday. But because school starts, these are good. They have the chocolate and then we have the blueberry one down here, but I'm not going to pull that out. And so next, we got two of these big panko uh, chicken breasts. Everything we got on sale. Last year, me and Ruben missed the back to school sale at Costco literally by a couple of days. So this year we waited to see what they had on sale and we got two of these. And so next, I think we got two of these. And I believe this was $5.99 for the three pack. So we ended up getting two of these um, for cereal because it's quick and easy. We also got the kids for their lunch, these Panda, Hello, what is it called? Yeah, Hello Panda. Um, Reagan, you kind of wanted which one? The pocket or but pocket? It had like chocolate on it and then it was like a stick, like a stick and then it had chocolate. Yeah, so I felt like those were like $2 more, but then these come individually wrapped, even though those were two. And I think it was only eight for like eight bucks. This one has 32 bags in it and this was like six or $7. Um, so yeah, I definitely told her to get this because I feel like this will last them longer, especially if they like it. So next, these barbecue chips, we tried these before and we actually really liked them. These were only like $3.99. Um, the Hillshire Farm Honey Roasted Ham, this was on sale for $6.69, something like that. And it comes individually wrapped three, three 11 ounce pouches. So what I'm gonna do is 
put these in the freezer tonight because they don't start school until next Wednesday. And then what I'm gonna do is like Tuesday or whatever, pull one out and then Reagan can have one fresh um, for making her lunch for school. Bugs is, it's his first time going to school at Reagan, so I don't know if he's gonna eat the ham, but I know we still have turkey in the freezer. So this is for their sandwiches for lunch. And then, let me see. Okay, Reagan, you wanna help me? I think we ended up getting two or three boxes of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The kids freaking love them. Um, again, we just really heavily stocked up on cereal. Go fish. And then we have the two boxes of like individual packs and it has 40 snack packs in it. 45. Oh, 45. And we had these last year, a bunch of them last year, and we ate it like a lot of times, like after school and before school and just like any time. Yeah. So we're going to, since it's just me and Bugs, we're just going to try not to eat them because we have like a whole year. Yeah, but we got two of those. So that's 90 packs. So that should last them a good while. And I think towards the end of this month, once the sale is starting to wind down, we might go back and kind of um, get more because let me look. I think. Oh, these don't expire until February 2020. So, wow, yeah, good. I'll probably go back and get like another box or two to kind of last them through February. Um, that way they're good to go. And then I just got kind of like some household stuff. Like we needed more butter. Um, we got this Kinder's barbecue sauce. That's a barbecue spot up here. Um, I really like this. Our Neutrogena. Had it. Our yeah. had it when we went to LA. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and then we got some Eggo waffles for their breakfast. And normally we won't have enough time to like eat breakfast. So this is like good because all we have to do is just pop it in the toaster and it's just... Yeah, yeah usually we try to rotate them between having oatmeal, cereal, and like just the quick waffles. Um, and then everything else was kind of like seasonings. Ruben oh. got him some more links. And, God, um, it? and yeah, I already showed them these. Oh. And then, um, Rosie will show you guys. We got like three cases of water. Eggs um, and then. Yeah. We got three cases of water, and then we got the Vitarines, which is the Kirkland brand of vitamin water. Um, we also ended up getting four gallons of milk. Milk. Yeah. What we usually do is we freeze the milk in our deep freezer. Um, and pull it out for the kids as they need it because it kind of lasts them a little bit longer. And then we also got the large thing of eggs. So I think that's it for our haul, you guys. Um, this was our back to school grocery lunch shopping. And then other oh house. crap, I didn't even see that down there. Rosie pointed that out to me. You want to show it to him, Ross? Since you're oh. down there. So we have this. Ooh. We got three boxes of those. Yep, it has, comes in 80 pouches of fruit snacks, box vouchers. Then we got this box of Rice Krispie treats, which comes in 60. And then we have these um, Nature Valley bars. Yeah, they're like crunchy. Bars. Yeah, guys. And yeah. then I think the other only thing is for the house, like we got like mango juice and we got this organic. Yeah, and we got the Guys, organic we lemonade. Have chips? Yeah, I already showed them the chips. Oh. But yeah, so that's what the kids are going to be starting off with taking for lunch for school. These guys right here, because Rousey, right behind the camera, she is going to high school, so she'll actually get cash. Um, <laughs> she'll get cash to take, Mommy, and she can buy lunch there. Can you show them that? I already did. Um, you are can late. You You're late. Nothing? So yeah, so this is what they have to start them off for lunch. I think it's pretty good. It's a little bit more variety than what they had last year, like the little pouches. What you think? Yeah. yeah. And we also have Capri Suns back there. So oh yeah, we have tons of Capri Suns them. from my last haul. But yeah, it's some more variety like with the pouches and with these panda little things. Um, they can rotate between the panda or the Rice Krispie Treat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night. It's well, almost 10 o'clock. I already showed them chips. Um, give this video a thumbs up. 
comment down below some of the items that you get for your household or what you're getting your kids for school to go back to school. And thanks for watching, guys. And subscribe. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mwah. Oh, yeah, guys, so I'm coming back really quick. We just are putting this stuff up. So I just really quickly wanted to say before I close out the video, I'm going to insert this in right before I close out the video. But the total amount, if you guess close enough or correctly enough, the total amount was, what, $337.82. Yeah, so basically $338. So that was the total. I'm popping in really quick. Um just to let you guys know what the total was so if you were correct good job um and don't forget to um comment down below on this video or the previous video and also follow me on instagram for the backpack giveaway all right good night guys